Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, we have something a little bit different. It's not a tool. We're gonna to be unboxing and installing the ring. This is the Floodlight Cam Wired Plus. So it's wired, so you're gonna hardwire this into the house just like you would an ex a standard external uh, light fixture. So they're like, Al, why are you doing a light? I know it's not a tool, but these things are freaking slick, guys. So we're gonna go through the installation, we're gonna unbox and see what it comes with. And there's one thing I found out about trying to sync this to your phone, which essentially is like hooking it up. I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, you get this sheet of paper on there that comes with it. This is like the instructions. So it says right here, scan this barcode. All right, quick start, it says scan this barcode here. Now, I must have messed with scanning this barcode and trying to set this up for over four hours, maybe six hours, and I couldn't, I couldn't get it to sync to start with this barcode. So you take this piece of paper, throw it in the trash. On the back of your light, I'll put a little picture in right here. There's a barcode. Scan the barcode on the back of your unit here, of the, of the camera right here, and that will instantly sync it up. After messing around for six hours, I, I heard on another video, they said, scan the barcode on the back of your light. Ding, I got right in the Wi-Fi. It connected instantly. It talks you through it step by step. It says, uh, setup mode, you are now connected to the internet. You are now connected. So it's pretty much idiot proof once you get it to sync up because it talks you step by step. So make sure you're by the unit when you're setting it up. All right, let's get to the unboxing. Roll the crap clip. Guys. So this is um, the updated one. It's the Pro. And I went with the spotlight because it's 2,000 lumens of spotlight. So I figured I'm gonna have it in the front of my house. I want a spotlight. I want to be able to see what's going on. So let's cut her open. I already cut that and see what we got. What comes in the box? So it has this little handle here. I think you just pull it up. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Oh, look at that. It's nice and slick. Nothing else in the box, guys. It did come shipped from my house just like this in the box. No additional padding or protection. It was just in this box with my info right there. All right. Look at that. It folds right out. Really about it. it just pops right out look at that that looks pretty nice mounting plate a sticker template maybe to cut if you have to you stick it on and cut that's actually a pretty nice box that's really about it all right let's see so we have the, the rear mount template and a little box of accessories Got a little screwdriver, oh, double bit, Phillips and a flathead, flathead, Phillips. And we have mounting accessories, and that's all that's in the box. A little ring sticker, a decal, and you get some little instructions, user guide, and important, important things to know. Probably flip through this here in a little bit. All right, let's cut this open and see what comes in here. We have three wire nuts and then a whole bunch of different bolts, or I mean nuts, depending on how you're gonna mount it and what your house looks like. Looks pretty much straightforward, guys. I went with the wired one. Because I do have an, a light in the front. Should be pretty standard. White to white, black to black. Um, so essentially all you're going to do is take out your old light, put this in its place, you drill this into your wall, and then you squirrel, squirrel, it's hot, that's like 100 degrees. And you mount this right onto the camera. Like that. Those go right into here. Should be good to go. And you can adjust it down however it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty slick. My house is a lighter color, so I want the white instead of the black. It's plastic. I think this is metal. Yeah. Aluminum. Nice. I like it. Alright, you guys ready to laugh at a dumb Polak mount a light to the exterior of his house? 
and pause it and I'm going to take out the old one and I'll show you how to wire it up real quick. Here it is, fully installed. As I'm recording this, I'm getting motion notifications. <laughs> it's hilarious. Looks pretty good. You know, you can adjust the lights up and down any which way you want. You can tilt this around and have this being mounted up this high on my house. So it's probably about 10 feet off the ground. Let me see if you guys can get a good view of it. So here's the steps, main level. It's about three feet, then the door. Yeah, so close to 10 feet, I'd say. And I can literally see all the way over here to this, my neighbor's light post here and out, and then all the way over to that red truck and out. And I can zoom in on anything in my front yard my steps and it's pretty clear it starts to get a little fuzzy when I zoom in on the mailbox but close to usually my wife parks right here in the front I can zoom in on her car so if anybody were to mess with that I get all the details I'd want on that and I could even see the old folks home over here in the skyline um, very very happy with it guys so you saw me pull this stuff out of the box and then it says to install it there's three wires guys you have your white wire which is neutral, it's your black wire, which is hot, and then you have your ground wire. So really, you put the ground, you screw it on the ground screw, that's all I gotta do. Mine, I had um, white and red, so I hooked my black up to my red, because I tested it, I know it was the, the hot wire. So essentially, you just twist together the red and the black, then the white to the white, and the ground, you screw it to the ground. And then you hang it up, and that's really about it. It's pretty simple. So, two screws, or two screws, two wires and then these little bolts here you slide it on and you screw these on with a little wrench that it came with um there's this little button right here on the top to pair it i'm not going to unpair mine once you pull up the app it'll ask you to scan the barcode that it came with right so that's the where the problem is to sync the stupid thing to your phone so you can start using it let me show you there's a little barcode on the back here your, your camera right there that's what you want to scan guys do not scan the stupid barcode that it came with in the piece of paper i literally probably spent four hours maybe six hours scanning it trying to do get it to work oh i messed this up maybe i messed this up well let's try this let's try that different wi-fi's no it's the sheet of paper itself that comes with the ring you have to find your unit and scan the barcode on the back right there boom the second i did that instantly hooked up and this will talk to you too it'll say in setup mode uh connecting to the internet you're now connected uh you're good to go you know it talks to you so it's it's step by step it's super easy so if you have any connectivity issues whatsoever scan this barcode right there see it that's what you need to do guys and then once i did that boom instantly hooked up and i got once it gets hooked up to your Wi-Fi, you're good to go. That's essentially what I needed to do. You have to sync it to your phone first, and then it syncs to your Wi-Fi. It's kind of stupid, but once it did that, it worked great. And I've been loving it ever since. You know, I freaking record all kinds of stuff. I have the settings set how I want. You can set your motion zones, two motion zones or three motion zones in your yard. Like, you can set when the light comes on. It's really, really nice, guys. All right, guys, so this is the homepage for the Ring. Um, and you can see this is a video that I just took demonstrating the the microphone working. All so right, I'll post this here. Watch. The, um, you can make it full screen. Voice activation for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is how loud the microphone is. This is how loud. So I'm just talking in normal voice. Oh, that's pretty good. The light's up blue. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that before. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you I'll show you the shot of me recording it. All right, we're going to demo the, um, the voice activation for you. So this is the intercom. Oh, that's pretty good. And it lights up blue. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that before. Can you hear me? 
you have the feeling just fine. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, thanks, honey. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you found that helpful. That little tip about scanning the barcode on the back of the unit, not that sheet of paper. Man, that made me so frustrated. And the day I hooked this up, it was about 105 degrees here in Minnesota. I was out front in just my shorts. I was sweating to death. I was sweating my eyes. I couldn't even twist the wires. My hands were sweaty. It was horrible. I actually think I got heat exhaustion from being outside so long in that 100 degree weather. Because uh, Al here gets over 75, uh, yeah, no bueno for this guy. I just can't handle it. Um, yeah, it sucked. That day was so hot. My front yard, there's no shade. It's just wide open. There's no trees, nothing. So just that sun is beating down on me. Anyways, got it hooked up. I've had it for about a week now, and I really like you guys. I have no complaints. The connectivity has been perfect. The video is freaking crystal clear. So I don't know where are these bad comments coming from saying, oh, it's delayed, it, blah, 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 this. I'm like, I've had no issues with mine. Um, the motion notifications is probably within two seconds, maybe three, definitely less than five. Um, from when somebody starts walking into my yard to the time I get on my phone. So by the time my wife pulls up, right, she parks in the front, she starts getting out of the car, I already can have it up and I can watch her walk up the, uh, the sidewalk. That's how fast it is. Anyways, if you have any questions guys, leave them down below. I was like to get back to you. Much love. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Sorry about the lack of videos. Just been busy with the new baby girl. Month old now. She's getting much bigger. Growing like a weed already. Um, guys, I got tons of videos coming up. So hit that bell. Hit that like, guys. Like my other video, I just posted this. If I get 500 likes, we're going to pick up a tool that you guys want to pick. Uh, one of the new flex tools. And we're going to beat the piss out of it. Literally, beat the piss out of it. <laughs> all right, guys. Until next time, have a blessed day. See ya. Yeah.